Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2428 in VirtualBox or VMware. This build of Windows Whistler was a big change in the development of the new operating system after Windows 2000. It uh, changed from the a different theme. It came from the so-called professional theme and it was kind of a um, I don't know what you'd call it a preliminary type thing of Luna uh, the Luna theme and um, so it adds more detail in my opinion you can you'll see it looks a lot like the uh, Windows XP type uh, operating system it changes a lot. If you go back to my Windows Whistler 2419 video, I'll have that linked in the description, you'll see the difference. And um, so let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. So you're going to need a VirtualBox VMware, get those, WinRAR, and you're actually going to need to install MS DOS 6.22. Um, now, some people can skip this part and can change your um, computer's date down here. Uh, by going to here and then um, finding a, a way to be able to change the time um, or not the time, the date um, and the date you're going to need to change it to is January 30th, 2001 and I'm going to have that uh, linked in the description with the ISO and product key so you'll get the bio state and you'll get the product key with the ISO in the description. So you can either change it here um, by going to um, settings, um, go to time and language, and then you can turn off set time automatically, and then you can go to change date and time, and then you can change the date to January, uh, 30th 2001 or not 11 2001 and then if you hit change it'll change the date on the bottom right and that will trick VirtualBox into thinking this is the date and then you can skip installing um, you can skip installing uh, MS-DOS that is if you don't want to change this if you do or that is if you don't uh, do want to change this. If you don't want to change the uh, date on your actual machine, then you'll need MS-DOS. So let me go ahead and install that quick. I'll have that linked in the description. Um, you need to go watch that and install MS-DOS 6.22. And um, you'll need to change the date. When it comes up with the date, change it to January 30th, 2001. I'll show you guys a screen of what that is in just a minute. So I'll be right back. By the way, you do need to create a virtual machine. I forgot to explain that. So, you might want to do that. Name your machine and then go to XP 32 bit, hit next, and then hit next again. Create your hard drive. This is basic stuff. A lot of you may know. Um, settings, storage, um, and then you're going to hit this plus button right here. Hit add floppy controller and hit this and hit choose disk and then this is where you'll do MS-DOS so let me get this uh, started for you guys and I'll come to the screen where it comes asking for the date so when it comes up to this screen you're gonna wanna go up to where it says date and time and then hit enter and then now you can go in and change the date to 01 slash 30 slash 01 that's what you need to change it to hit enter and then just kind of go continue through the setup so when you hit enter you'll just continue through the setup as normal so I'll be back and in installing MS-DOS you guys can watch the link from in the description on the video I have of MS-DOS I'll be back with you guys in a sec okay so once you get MS-DOS installed as well as the CD driver you honestly don't even need to do that but it's just so you can get the bio state set um, you don't even have to install the CD driver. So now what you're going to need to do is once you get that installed, you're going to um, insert the ISO, which will be in the description with product key and BIOS state in case you uh, just need a visual of it. 
um, then you'll go to machine, hit reset, and then hit press any key to boot from CD. And now you're in Windows Whistler setup. Some of you may already be past this by now, but this is for people who do install MS-DOS 6.22. It's going to start setup here, and then it'll kind of just go through some basic uh, things here. So hit enter, enter again, hit F8 to agree to the license agreement. And then this is where it could be confusing for some users. Um, who have done the MS-DOS uh, way of this. You do not want to install it over MS-DOS. I mean, you can. It's just kind of weird. I think it's just uh, a way of doing it. So if you don't want MS-DOS on here, you can delete this partition, or you can just go down to unpartition un space. But we're going to just do D, Enter, and then L, and now you got the full hard drive space. Then hit Enter. NTFS file system quick, hit enter. Now it's going to format the drive, uh, the virtual drive, which will not take very long at all. It's going to examine the disks. Now it's going to copy all the files. And this process doesn't take long either. It'll get done, kind of just depends. And it'll just keep going through the process okay so once it's done doing that you want to hit enter to reboot oh. wasn't on the screen so reboot the machine don't press any key to boot from CD or DVD I guess now what I say is just leave the disk in when you're installing operating systems just in case it asks for it because some of the older operating systems asks for the disk to for parts of the setup so it'll say welcome to Windows Whistler professional this is the beta 2 part of beta 2 there are many other builds of beta 2 and you guys can leave comments below on any other certain builds of whistle you want to do because I, I kind of like to do the beta operating systems those are kind of my favorites to do so now I'll go through the process of installing devices and you'll see that this is different down below it has the colored loading icons are rather than the circle ones I believe it was or something different with Windows XP it was a little different now you'll come to the language and keyboard layout, change that if need be, hit next. Now I'll type in a name. I'll just type in my channel name, hit next, and this is where the product key comes into play. I'm going to enter this in real quick. That'll be linked in the description with the ISO and BioState. So let me get that entered in. I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay, you got that entered in. Now you'll pick a computer name. I'm just going to leave it. I don't really want to name it because I'll end up deleting this machine anyway. And if you can get to this far hopefully you don't get like as soon as the computer restarts and it comes to try and do the setup and hopefully it doesn't say like setup will not continue and then if you hit like view log file or something and it'll say it can't do it because of the bio state or something then you'll want to do the time method down here um, but if it doesn't work for the time method try the DOS method if it doesn't work for the DOS method try the time method um, but make sure that it's stays as January 30th 2001 pick a time zone hit next and now it's just gonna keep going through um, installing the network and now it'll come to this just keep it at typical settings hit next you can connect it to a domain if you want or connect it to a work group by typing in work group or some people may have to type in type in MS home I may leave it at work group hit next So that screen will take a little bit to process through, and now it'll go through the process of copying files and installing Whistler. So just let this sit for a while, and it's going to do its thing, so I'll be back with you guys once we restart. Okay, before it restarts, it's going to display this. It says one or more minor errors occurred while installing Windows Whistler. The errors will not prevent Windows Whistler from running, so that is a good thing. 
you can view the log file if you want just say yes and it'll show you the error that comes up or errors hit close and it's going to restart once again don't boot from the CD or DVD you can probably go ahead and remove that now and it's going to get to the boot screen this is the beta 2 boot screen it's kind of different with every other one now it's going to do the display thing of automatically correcting screen resolution color depth so you can check this box if you want hit yes and hit yes now I believe there'll be some sounds coming up here so I'll be quiet for a minute So there you go, hit next to start setting up, and that was different, they don't have like the little circle thing instead of uh, on uh, Windows XP, and so you can do yes or for this, for internet, hit no, remind me in a few every few days, hit next, choose whatever option, I'm the only user so I'll hit no, leave that, and finish, it's as easy as that. We'll see if it does the uh, log on sound again. Okay, so I missed the uh, login, but it does play the sound for me. So I don't know if it does for you guys or not. But here you go. This is Windows Whistler uh, build 2428. It'll say it down here. And if you hit right, com right click on my computer, and hit properties it'll say Microsoft Windows 2000 but it's uh, version 5.01.2428 so that's Whistler build 2428 it's just kinda different they haven't fixed a ton of the things yet it says Windows 2000 here but down here it says Windows Whistler and it is Windows Whistler so there you go guys that's how to install Windows Whistler to the, or pardon me Windows Whistler Build 2428. I was about to say Windows Whistler 2000. Uh, Windows Whistler 2 Build 2428. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it helped you guys out. Um, and share it. Also comment below your ideas and if you guys have any issues with this install and I can help you as best as I can. I'm not going to make any promises that I can get the uh, problem fully fixed. I'll just try my best to do as much as I can. So, um, just leave comments below and subscribe for more videos. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.